What is going on guys? This is Jagnol back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the gameplay reveal we just got for EA College Football 25. We got a lot more info to talk about. They released a whole blog so I'm going to talk about the three things um, that really stood out to me. So the, the three topics for today's video will be talking about the wear and tear system the abilities and how I think they're different than Madden as well as how home field advantage actually will work and how it will have a huge impact on this game. So I think those are the that's going to be the, the chapters that we're working with today. Um, I did make a, a previous recording where I was talking about the campus IQ, but I feel like this was kind of talked about in the previous videos that I've discussed, as well as there's already documentation about it, kind of how there's 134 different play styles and how they're changing up the run game, blah, blah, blah. And I do think those are important, but I do think these have already been talked about. So I'm deciding to scrap that and redo it because I wanted to talk about the features that I think differentiate this game from Madden. Um, I will say that this game, all, these features themselves are more about like football themselves other than maybe the home field advantage. However, I do think that like NFL still has a home field advantage. I just think Madden just doesn't care enough to put it in the game. But for college football, that is a huge part. It is a very pivotal part of the game. And we did know that there's all these traditions are going to be in the game, but I wanted to see like how does the crowd have an impact? But we'll get into that. That is the third topic. So we'll start off with the first topic, and that is the wear and tear system. So this is brand new to, to any college football game. Um, now, this has probably been – it's the first time we've seen, like, a whole system designed around uh, roster management in terms of keeping a player healthy but also recovering from injuries as well as fatigue. So the way it works, it, it basically – assigns different attributes to different body parts which makes sense your your speed should come from like your legs and then your arm power should come from i think also your legs but also like your arm like if you're if you broke your arm you cannot throw the ball so that is also important so i think those are really interesting to have like those specific parameters being tracked to allow it to dynamically update uh, stats or not stuff like stats, but um, ratings for a player. For example, if a quarterback is constantly getting hit and getting his, you know, his arm smashed into the ground or something like that, uh, I don't know exactly how it's going to like get these points up. Like what hits count? Like if he gets smashed into the ground, like will that arm get hurt? But let's just say it is. Let's say his arm gets more and more damaged. I guess you could say throughout the game, um, he might you know, not be able to throw the ball as hard, depending on his toughness rating. Now, if he has a low toughness rating, he might get hit a few times and he might be done. Like he might not be able to throw the ball anymore. But then, you know, you have those Iron Man quarterbacks will stand in the pocket and just take a bullet from a, take a bullet, take a huge shot from a defender while trying to, you know, wait till last minute till that receiver gets open and then gets up like nothing's wrong. So I do think those are important, but also like in terms of a good example for me would be like Jordan Travis at Florida State. He was someone who was extremely tough, but he also took so many hits, and eventually he, he would get hurt. Um, in 2022, his his last year, not the last last year, but um, in one of those years, he, he got hurt and missed a few games because he would run the ball a lot. So if you put yourself in harm's way, you're more likely to get hurt. That's just kind of how it works. Um so that is very interesting. That's why like running backs, their their shelf life in the NFL isn't that long because they get hit so much and they start getting hurt and they're not as fast and it's just cheaper just to get a new running back. But anyways, so I do think how the, they're doing the wear and tear system is, is smart because it allows you to really change the way you want to do your roster management. Like, do you want to rest somebody for a smaller opponent to rest them for the big game that's coming up next week that's a big part of it like recovery is just important as like prevention so i do think it's a really cool system and then also the way that they've kind of displayed it so i'll put a i'll put an image up here where you can see like how each player like where they're hurt and how you know severe it is and how their their risk of injury gets higher and lower based off of how many hits they take and it makes sense like if you look at the description like uh mafa for for clemson he you know he's getting hit all the time as a running back so of course you know his entire body is going to have a little bit of wear while they're with quinn ewers like if he's getting hit you know in the chest or something when someone's like 
trying to sack him and they hit him you know in the you know his abdomen area you know chest area of course that's going to be the one that gets you know the most wear and tear so i do think as well as also receiver like you get hit you know that you some defender hits you in the chest when you're going for a ball or something like that so like these kind of um these make sense and then also like tight end tight end you're really big so defenders have to tackle you from your legs because if you if they try to hit you up top they're just gonna bounce off of you so i do think that's cool um and i do like the examples they gave with like running backs are just gonna get (laughs) ran through the ground um and then tight ends you got to go for the legs and then quarterbacks and receivers so i think that's cool i do think that is a great system that they put into this game again we'll see how it performs in game this could be great on paper but be annoying in game I don't think this is going to be a factor in terms of competitive play, but I don't think this game is going to be a competitive game in in the same level as Madden. Like, I I do think there is going to be a competitive scene where where it comes down to the fact that you can can play Ultimate Team and also play, like, Play Now and stuff and how that will be competitive, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, I think Road to Glory where you're actually, like, getting these kind of, um you know things actually change week to week is is important so overall i like this so and and then also there's different ways other ways where you can see it like through the picture and picture mode as well as the the coach vision which is like where you zoom out when you're looking at a play or when you're on the field and you're looking down and showing the player and you can see like how your players are doing and it gives more information so overall i do think the wear and tear system getting more information is is good and i'm excited to see how it performs in the game i think this is a, a great um i think it's a great feature next up we have the ability so this is something that i did not expect to be in the game to be honest i really thought it was going to be you know a little bit different i i thought like it was just going to be straight up ratings based like how um ncaa 14 was because we didn't really they didn't mention it really that much so it is weird to see that and obviously this was something that they've been doing for a while but they didn't mention it in like the sizzle trailer but i guess it's fair you don't really see that kind of stuff it's just showing the game being played in a cinematic way so breaking down the abilities there is apparently 80 of them which majority are new to football in general in terms of the gaming space um and they're purely situational boosts and they're not guaranteed so this is kind of a way to kind of silence doubts for it being like here is jukebox where you're just going to get guaranteed perfect jukes or spin cycle where you get amazing spins no matter what i thought in madden that made the game feel very arcadey because it didn't it just didn't make sense like why especially if this was the same thing with the wear and tear system like why would you be able to give perfect spins when you're you know speed and all that stuff is degraded so it does seem like this is going to build on top of it like for example i'll put a screenshot of the the abilities like if you go to the option king and there's also different tiers i want to talk about so there's physical and mental abilities so in like i guess i mean you can kind of see what the difference between mental and physical abilities like mental means like you wouldn't be able to get rattled or it might affect different aspects of the game physical might help you get a boost or help you not get injured for example if we look at option king we look at bronze so bronze you just get a slight accuracy increase on quick pitches so very basic i think um if you're someone that runs an option offense that should be like a basic feature but that just shows that like maybe if you decide to run the option from a team that normally doesn't run the option you probably won't have any of these won't have this at all and it might be a little bit more difficult to run the option which is another thing that has been changed up in this game um i don't really want to talk too much about the option game seems like they just changed and updated it so you know there's i would recommend reading the blog if you want to know more about it they've changed the run game and all that so seems like people who've played it have liked the run game and the option game so and then one thing to keep in mind is that you now have to press uh a or x to keep the ball it's now auto handoff instead of reverse so interesting but looking back at the platinum tier on option king ultimate speed and accuracy increase on pitches or sorry ultimate speed and accuracy is increased on pitches and wear and tear protection on option plays so again wear and tear so it seems like you get better protection it says ultimate protection which makes it seem like there's you're still going to get that ding like it's not like a thing says not affected by wear and tear at all because that's not how it works guys like you're still gonna get hurt but maybe since 
you're good at this like look at workhorse um bronze tier slight protection from wear and tear effects when colliding with other players all the way to platinum ultimate protection from wear and tear when colliding with players so while it may not be 100 percent, maybe it it really degrades a lot of the wear and tear and that makes sense so that is really really cool so and then looking at downhill saying like looking at the old the platinum ability um ultimate ability to break tackles after reaching 80 percent of max speed so that's also another cool thing like it shows that like if you hit your max speed you're more likely to break your tackle or something like that like that it almost brings physics into it a little bit like now you have to hit a certain speed to be able to break the tackles and it makes sense so i do think just because of that these abilities make the game feel like it's extremely situational but also ties to a player's abilities um i think they're a huge compliment i think this is how madden should have done it from the beginning and maybe this is what they've learned from Madden. and they probably noticed okay the the previous abilities made it too arcadey and too much of a game where it didn't make sense uh, like allowing a player to run like remember escape artist in in madden 20 where you could just run full speed behind the line of scrimmage but as soon as you cross the line you immediately lost all your speed it made no sense so the fact that that was the case it, it made it an arcade game so this seems a lot more um balanced so I, I really think this is a cool feature. And then it goes into Travis Travis Hunter's um, abilities. And I think it's cool that they broke it down. So they, they did it in the screenshot. So you can see his mental and physical abilities on the, uh, the right and left. And you can see, I think you get a max of eight is what they said. But if you look on the left side, you'll see the physical traits. You get to see exactly what the physical traits do. Um, so you have sure hand, so it improves standard catches, 50-50, improved jump ball ability, uh, double dip, improved double move routes, layout, improved dive catches, uh, recoup, improved fatigue recovery. Like, these are things I think are valid. Like, I think Travis Hunter should have these abilities. And I think the fact that there's different, like, tiers, it's, a, it's, it's like a way to complement the traditional 0 to 100 ratings um without it breaking the game without it being like double me and madden where it's like you are guaranteed to catch the ball it just made no sense none of this ever really says none of this says guarantees this is the thing guys none of this is showing guarantees it says improve sorry guys i my my teams is is going off i have to mute that um yeah it's not a sure thing it's improved so it's improved standard catches improved jump ball ability improved double routes so those are like huge things it's not saying guaranteed to catch it guaranteed to do that so i like how they're very you know resistant on doing like the guarantees and then you also get to see the mentals i didn't see the screenshot so um fan favorite increased composure gains at home there you go best friend qb con qb composure gain on first down catch clear-headed protection from composure lost so composure it seems to be a big part of the mental part so i think this is cool i like the abilities guys i really want to hear what you think of the abilities because i think it really ties well with the wear and tear system extremely extremely well um overall i'm really ha happy with what they've done so far and this isn't even talking about like the actual game play itself like how the game is playing because i've seen it played it looks a little bit like madden i mean it i mean the models look similar to madden um some animations are the same that's just kind of how it is in a football game guys but overall this still feels like it's a different game already just from the back end um and then lastly you have the home field advantage part of it having the stadium pulse and how that if you're playing at a small school the stadium pulse is going to be really small, like a really low, so you're not really going to get that big of an impact. So if you're playing at Sam Houston, which is the example here, this was one of my dynasty teams, guys. So you see how see how, how on point I am? And then I think I mentioned also UTEP, <laughs> which was also hilarious to see that, um, that they were both put in the game. Uh, or I don't know if I put them on UTEP. I don't think I put UTEP in my thing, but I had it on my, my Google list. I didn't, I don't know if I included it, but these small schools they have smaller stadiums so and also the fan support isn't as big uh, as these bigger schools so the stadium pulse is going to be smaller so it's going to have less of a home field advantage 
I just think this is such a great and simple idea, but it's so cool that they actually put it in the game. And then they also talked about, like, if you're Michigan and you're playing at Penn State at night, uh, even if it's not a whiteout, which way they put in this game, which confirms, officially confirms, that, that the... the the crowds are different and that you can stripe a crowd or you can do checkerboards. I mean, I think we saw Michigan State striping their stadium, which is awesome. I love that. I love that they're doing that in the game. Super small features. The fact they're doing it is incredible. Shows the intention of detail that they're putting into this game. Um, but yeah, it just seems like they, the, how you, and also, again, all this ties in together. It all ties in together. Like, for example, I think some of the composure abilities uh, with a quarterback, they mentioned that like Nico playing for Tennessee at Georgia, he is like not there, I guess. So he he's gonna get rattled a lot easier versus Carson Beck, who's a very experienced quarterback. He is not gonna get rattled when he's playing at Alabama. Again, that's a cool mechanic because it uh, basically allows you to decide: do I put in the do I put in the freshman? Do I start DJ Lagway um, on the road? at whoever they're playing at florida state maybe he's good at that point but like you know what i'm saying like who whoever they're playing or do i go with graham mertz who is an experienced quarterback um who is pretty good probably doesn't have the upside as dj lagway but it probably has a higher floor and maybe won't get as rattled and then also i think when it comes to this game is you get to see more of how you can take the crowd in and out of the game so like if you're playing on the road, do you play super aggressive to score a touchdown and get the crowd out of the game? Like will the stadium pulse go down if you're blowing out Penn State? I would assume so. Because um, why would they put that meter in the game if it's just going to be maxed out every time? So it seems like you could probably take the crowd out of the game. However, let's say you try to be ultra aggressive and you throw a pick. Now the crowd's going to go crazy. Overall, I'm very happy with the features they decide with the game. Because again, guys, they all tie together the wear and tear system to keep your guys healthy and on the field the abilities to make you know the special player special but i think also i feel like a bunch of players will have these abilities but they're not they'll just be like different tiers so it seems like if you're average you'll probably have like one bronze or a few bronzes or whatever i don't know how they're going to split them up but it just makes it like cooler and adds more elements to it especially with like road to glory i'm assuming in road to glory you would be able to pick which ones you want to go or maybe you click a button and it gives you like random i don't know i don't know how it's going to work but i do think the foundation is very strong and i think it makes a clear case that this game is not a madden reskin guys either here's the thing guys either madden is getting a huge upgrade and is using the same features as this college football game or EA College Football is just going to run away and just be like the ultimate college or ultimate football game, it seems like. So overall, I think it's going to be a win. It's going to be a win for this game no matter what. Now, it might be a win for Madden 2 if they also put in this system of the wear and tear. Um, I think wear and tear would be the easiest to, to push over to, to Madden. Um, and I also think that this is why EA made this game. is It's a way for them to potentially right their wrongs and we'll see how it goes i'm excited to play the game i don't have any early access yay if you want to send me a goat or something if i can do it i would love to i doubt that's gonna happen but uh i'm excited to play it on july 16th i want to hear what you guys think about it in the comments L let me know what you think do you think this is a man reskin do you still think it's a man reskin that's okay if you think so put it in the comments we're trying to have a respectful open conversation I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are the greatest ever. Like, I love how you guys have put in the teams you're going to play Dynasties with. Super excited to continue growing this community that we're all building together. But other than that, this has been Jagnol, and I will see you guys next time.